Hi and welcome to ProMat Video Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a profile that you can use in your uh, when you're configuring an event. As you can see here, in the um, we're configuring the event of another test event, and under online registration, you see that uh, you can choose and select profiles to be included so you can gather more information about that contact or the person that's registering. And you can see here already this was selected name and address. So these were the fields in name and address, the first name, last name, and their street address. So and it also gives you another uh, option to add another profile if you would like. So that's what we're going to do is create a profile and we'll use it here. And we're also going to create another profile to for additional participants because maybe we don't want their name and address we just want their name and email so we just keep those two fields for the extra participant uh, i'll probably do that one first since it's, it'll be quicker so name and address is being used you can see it right here under profiles name and address I'm sorry, to get here, go to Administer, Customize Data and Screen, and Profiles. It'll bring you here, you can see the, all the profiles. So to add a new one, we'll choose Add Profile, and then we'll give it a name. This will be Participant Details. I'm leaving that alone. Order, that's, that's going to be left alone. Um, yeah, this is going to be left alone. Just save. So the profile has been added. You can add fields to it now. So add field, the field name, individual. We'll choose first name. Okay, yeah, we'll get the, their first name, their last name, and their email. So those will be the three fields that we're adding. So first name save and new do the same thing for last name contacts well you know individual last name and you can change the name a bit too you can just type it in but last name is fine save and new and the third one was email so contacts email primary see we don't want the primary there so we can just kind of get rid of that and it'll just say email um and save. So those are the three fields that we want for the participant, for the additional participant. And now that profile has been saved. So when we can add it into our test event. You can see it. I'll refresh it so that it'll show up. So for the, since we just created that profile for the additional participant, we can check, choose it right here. Participant details was what we just created participant details so we'll select that and then now we're going to create a profile an additional profile we're going to put it here for the just the regular participant um, maybe we want other information about them so go to administer customize data and screen profiles and before we add the profile the extra fields that we're adding are not already available in the system in Civi so to create the custom fields or data we are going to go to custom data go to administer customize data and screen custom fields and you're brought here so we can add a set of custom fields because we're going to do um, I don't know favorite color favorite sport favorite time of the day so and those options aren't available in the drop downs and when you're selecting them so you have to create them yourself so to create those custom fields that you want to get is to go here, what I showed you, administer, custom fields, and then add a new one. We'll call this one other information used for events. Actually, we're going to use it for participants since we're gathering this information about the participant. So that's fine so other, other information has been saved now we can add the custom fields um, so this custom field is favorite
color. So we'll give them the text box so that they can type in what their favorite color is. Um, everything's fine. I don't. We're not going to make it required. So save a new to create another custom field. So favorite color has been saved. Another custom field, favorite sport. Once again, we'll leave that text field and save a new. And finally, favorite time of day. We'll give them the checkbox so that they can select more than one. Morning, afternoon, night. And yes, give them a value that the system will be able to read. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. And there you go. Then save, since we're not adding another custom field. So in our custom data, other information, these are the custom fields in it, the favorite color, favorite sport, favorite time of day. Now that you have created these custom fields and data, you can now add it to the profile. So we're going to create a new profile. Once again, administer, customize data and screen, profiles, and then add profile. We'll give this the same name as that, so other uh, information. Keep that the same, everything's the same. And I'm just going to put this in so you'll see what it looks like. So I put extra information to get to know you a little bit better and you'll see where that shows up once um, I show you the, the finished product save so now we're gonna choose the fields to be added in this profile and we want to select the custom fields that we just created from the custom data so field name we put it under participants so it's gonna be there and um, there it is, favorite color, sport, time of day. So you do one at a time, so favorite color, uh, save, and new. So participant, favorite sport, save, and new. And then finally, participants, favorite time of day, and then save. And that's it. So as you can see, we took, we created those new fields and we added it into these profiles because before there was no favorite color for favorite sport or favorite time of day, as you can see. Since we created it, it is now available for us to add to the profile. And so that's what you would need to do if the field is not there and you want that field to be there, just create a new one new custom data fields and then add it to the profile we'll click save now that profile is created we'll go back to the event online registration configuring refresh it so that we can see it so now it's refreshed it should be available we'll choose it right here for other information and that should show up and save this save and done so that information has been saved if we refresh this again so here's the page refreshed two people were registering too so I can show you the second participant detail and for the first person we had the name and address just their first name last name address and then the other information this is the help box I was telling you about when we created the field form the other information was the profile that we created and then these were the fields that we created and then put it in the profile so that can be shown. Favorite color, text box, favorite sport, you can type it in. And then favorite time of day, you can select for the checkbox. So then continue, I'm going to show you the other participant for the second participant, the same stuff up here. And we only have their first name and last name. The reason the email wasn't added here because the email is already up here but as you can see so yeah that's how you create those profiles and then once you create the profile you can select it in the inform the settings of the configuring the settings and select it and choose it so that you can um, gather what information you want for each individual for each participant obviously the first person is the person participating and maybe this is Participant number two is their guest, so we don't need all that information. Yeah, so that's how you create a profile and also creating custom fields. Thank you for watching. Bye.